The new A7 it's based on the A8 and Q7's building blocks, but gives us a good idea what the next A6 will look like. The LEDs illuminate an animated flourishes when the car is unlocked. There are slashes in the flanks, and a wider, flatter grille than George Foreman's family barbecue. Based on the same underpinnings as the latest A8 limo and sharing much of its stunning touchscreen cockpit, the A7 has many of the same superpowers. It'll be able to remotely park itself without you on board, and drive itself in traffic when its level 3 autonomy comes on stream in 2018. Its onboard 48 volt electrical system also means the engine can switch off at coast, while kinetic energy is harvested as you slow down. For the longer, more capacious A7 Sportback MK2, there's more knee and headroom inside, but the thing is almost 5 meters long and 2 meters wide as a result. Audi's headline act isn't suspension that predicts the bumps ahead, a trick saved for new A8S, but instead, it's most computerized steering system yet. Turn the wheel, a computer works out the appropriate amount to twist the front wheels, a system we've really not been fans of in other Audis. And this time, the rears join in to slice 1.1 meters from the turning circle, or make high-speed lane changes less clenchy. Like the SQ7 it's related to, the new A7 also has 48 volts electricity on board so the engine can utterly shut off when coasting, but all your screens and clever steering won't black out. Meanwhile, the stop-start system now kills the engine as soon as the car's speed drops below 14 miles per hour, in a bid to save even more fuel and urban emissions. Speaking of which, we should talk engines. And we'd like to, but Audi's being terribly coy. Apparently, four-cylinder turbo petrol and diesel versions will arrive in due course, but the launch engine being focused on is a sonorously understated 3.0-liter V6 petrol good for 335 bhp and 369 pounds foot it pushes the A7 to 62 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds, and a predictable 155 miles per hour limiter.